Hi, and during the next few minutes I will um, well, try to show you some of the most common pitfalls that especially new users uh, can run into. We'll start with a simple hierarchy. And uh, now um, something that many users often ask is um, why don't we see the number of branches that we specified? Um, I'll give the branches um, separate colors so that it's easier to uh, distinguish them. So we use a red for them and well let's say a green color for those. So our base um, tree component says we are creating 10 branches and if we count them we can see we have 10 child objects. The second tree component also says uh, we have uh, 10 uh, branches or 10 child objects, but if you now count the childs, you'll notice that it's much less. It's probably about 50% and up here even, even um, less. And uh, well, then if we would, um, for example, add a leaf object to our last um, tree component, you will see that just one leaf is generated per branch which is of course not um, what you normally want if you want to create a tree with, uh, yeah, with a lot of uh, leaves. So why does this happen? This is because if you take a look at the growth scale parameter, um, by default it's set to about 50% and it's getting even um, less um, towards uh, the upper area. So right here we have a, den uh, a growth scale of about 50%. So this one growth growths to a length of 50% and you can see that we have five child objects so that it's um, a combination out of the number which is said right here, 10, and uh, the growth scale parameter of the parent object. And at the top the growth scale is set to zero. So here um, almost no branches are growing anymore. If uh, you want to change this, you first of course can work on uh, growth scale so that uh, more growth is happening. Another option would be to use uh, the dense parameter so we can increase the density of child objects. And this, of course, you also have to do, for example, uh, for this branch component, and then you'll get more leaves. I know that this tree is not really looking <laughs> nice, but it's just uh, that you understand how those parameters are connected. So the number of uh, child branches and uh, probably even leaves uh, not only depends on the number you're setting right here, it also depends um, always on the uh, well, growth scale parameter and the dense parameter of the parent objects. And actually we have another one which can uh, well play a role and this is simply if you take a look um, at trunk scale you are also controlling the growth. Best is that you just play around with those parameters so that you get uh, so that you get used to them. So just keep in mind the number of child objects not only depends on uh, this branches parameter but also on growth scale, dense and uh, trunk scale. Now we want to take a look at um, a different pitfall, which actually comes from from uh, well the basic or uh, the similar settings that we just discussed. Um, sometimes you have a tree, compo tree component and want to put another tree component on top. So we are not using a multiple link to do this, but change the link type to simple. I'll give this second tree again a different color so that we can um, separate them la later on. 
Good. Now you can see in our hierarchy we have a tree at the bottom and the tree at the top connected with a simple link. But in the 3D preview we can't see anything. Why um, can't we see this tree component? Uh, it's, it's pretty simple actually. It's the same parameter that we had to work on um, in the last well few minutes. It's the growth scale parameter. You can see that growth scale is set to zero at the top. So the tree on top simply receives a growth scale of zero. Let us increase this one and oh, nothing happens. So uh, now most people get confused. Why uh, does the tree uh, still not show up? We change growth scale, nothing is happening. Again, the reason is pretty simple. Not only growth scale is um, passed from the parent to the child object, but also the thickness. So take a look at the shape parameter of the parent tree. You can see the thickness or the shape is set to zero at top. This is passed to the tree on top. Now let us increase the thickness to about 50% and now you can see our tree on top finally appears. So keep in mind when you place a tree on top of another tree component, um, be sure that the growth scale parameter is set to a value greater or bigger than zero. And the same has uh, to be true for the shape parameter. Simply increase the thickness and you'll be able to see the tree on top of the base tree. I think that's enough for today. Have fun playing with XFrog. So I think that's enough for today. Um, next time we will take a look at some mysteries um, which can occur, especially if you're new to XFROG 3.5, like um, vanishing uh, tree components and stuff like that. Thanks for watching.